How's this look? Like a truck on a wall. <laughs> Perfect. Man, it feels good to have all my stuff back. I can't believe your parents chucked it on the front lawn. Yeah, but it was cool with the gardeners to help, though. That guy with the leaf blower really rounded up my socks fast. <laughs> so where are you going to put the rest of this crap? Well, I'm going to put my clothes in the... Or maybe the... Or right here, on the floor. I hope one of those trash bags has a maid in it. This is H. I'm giving the room a touch of van. It's not a gentle touch, is it? You want to give me a hand here? What's that? My lucky comforter. Wildcat colors. The orange and black attack. More like Halloween vomit. <laughs> Obviously, Cheyenne hasn't seen this. Isn't it great? She's gonna freak. My girls. You're gonna hang that in here? Yeah, to help me get worked up. Not like that. For the game. But something's missing. Certainly not implants. <laughs> oh, I know. <sighs> See, the head cheerleader's cheering me on. Go, Van! She really didn't say that, but it's sort of like she did. You're gonna wish you had a bubble over your head when your wife gets here. <laughs> it's all right, Mrs. H. Cheyenne knew I was bringing my gear. She wants me to feel at home. Van, listen to me. This isn't good. I know my daughter. She was moody before she was pregnant. What do you think? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I love it. Liar. No, no, I, I do. What's your favorite part? The headlights on the truck or the ones on the cheerleaders? <laughs> it's hard to say. I guess it's it's the way it says Mr. and, and Mrs. Van Montgomery live and love here. <laughs> well, that sucked. Big time. that I might need some help? I'm not a mind reader. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you doing here? I don't know. Your father was supposed to pick you up half an hour ago. Why do I bother making a schedule if nobody's going to stick to it? I don't know. <laughs> Who put an empty carton of milk back in the refrigerator? I don't know. <laughs> what is that? What is this contraption? This is the exorcist. <laughs> this little puppy's great for your abs and butt. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk about your butt. Why is this in my living room? Well, there's no room in the garage, and I figure this way everybody can use it. Plus, it's a good airflow, so the sweat smell won't knock you out. And luckily, it's downwind from the fancy eating table. Don't worry. It's totally portable. I can have it moved on a day's notice. Pretend I told you yesterday. Hey. Well, it's about time. Your son's been waiting. It upsets him when you're late. Yes! Level three! He's a man. He hides his emotions. <laughs> Ooh, the exorcist. Cool, huh? You know, maybe I'll keep a pair of shorts over here and we can work out together sometime. It's not staying, in spite of what it could do for my butt. 
Let's go, buddy. Okay, I've made a list for you two. Oh, you made a list of things I should do with my son? No, I would never do that. I made a list of things not to do. <laughs> like last week you took him to the dog track? He won 75 bucks. You told me it was 50. <laughs> hey, those nachos weren't free. Come on, let's go, Jake. Uh, no golf? Reba, this list is ridiculous. The kid loves to caddy. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go! Hey, you sound just like Coach Harrell. Now tell me I'm worthless and I hit like a girl. you'd read that a couple of months ago. <laughs> Shouldn't Van be here by now? He'll be here. He's a football player. He's very busy. <laughs> so how's the room you live and love in? It's fine. It's a little more crowded with the exercise machine, thanks to you. You let him put that in your room? My husband has a hot bod, and I fully support that. <laughs> oh. So how's Van's cheerleader posters growing on you? Not that those gals need to do any growing. Mom, come on. No, I'm curious. Which one's your favorite? Brandy with the I or Brandy with the Y? All right, all right. They're all stupid, and two of them aren't even that cute. Oh, thank the Lord my little girl's back. Mom, um, marriage is hard. I actually have to think about his feelings. It's so unfair. Tell me about it. You know, it's, it's like, it's scary when you're dating and it ends. It's like, who cares? You know, you're going to college. But when your marriage breaks up, you're just a loser. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean you. I meant, I meant for young people. <laughs> Are you through? Yeah, I think so. Look, you're going to have to tell Van how you're feeling. You're right. I'll tell him as soon as he gets here. Well, at least he's coming. When I was pregnant, your father wouldn't get within 50 feet of a gynecologist's office. Oh, hey, Reba. Mom! Rob. Guess what I just saw? <laughs> I even got a picture of it. Oh, the baby. <laughs> Why is he here? Why are you here? Oh, uh, Dr. Schmidt and I are doing this trade thing. He's taking care of BJ, and I'm giving his wife a root canal. <laughs> I'm coming out way ahead on the deal. <laughs> hey, Reba. Dr. Schmidt is terrific. <laughs> What's wrong with you? This is supposed to be father-son time, not father-son mistress gynecologist time. Oh, come on, the kid had a blast. And besides, you're always after me to do stuff with him that's educational. Jake, Jake, put that down. The uterus is not a toy. This is why I give you lists. Yeah, well, the gynecologist office wasn't on the not-to-do list. You don't see strip club on the list either, but I can write it down if there's any questions. Oh, boy, here we go again. You know, Every, no, you you're all you oh. Can you please talk about this later? Let's everybody take a deep breath and visualize the beach. You want to know what I'm visualizing? All right, all right, we're leaving. Let's go, Jake. Where are we going? Well, son, I don't know, but we certainly won't be getting our new shoes wet. <laughs> hey, coach, how's it going? <laughs> hey, babe, I'm sorry I'm late. I hope you're not mad. Of course I'm not mad. You're my husband, and I love you. I couldn't decide what to wear. I've never been examined by a gynecologist before. <laughs> Montgomery, wish me luck. Hello, hello. Where's Brock? Well, 
Well, he seemed a little tense, so I dropped him off at the driving range after dinner. Dinner? I had a banana split, a Snickers, and a nice mocha. Can I stay up all night? <laughs> Please thank Brock for bringing him home late and all jacked up on sugar. I know what's really bothering you, and I just want to assure you that Jake was out of the room with Brock while I was being looked at by the down there doctor. <laughs> I'll call later. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Cheyenne. I thought you were going to tell him to get that machine out of your room. I was, but then I realized it doesn't really bother me. Van needs a space, and I didn't want to make a big deal about it, Mom. Well, I do. Mom? Mom? Mom, stop. Go, Van. Come on. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, Van. Go. Come on. Hey, Mrs. H. You can't keep this thing in here. It's okay. Cheyenne said it was cool. Tell him. Tell me what? Tell him you don't want this thing in here. What? Mom, not now. He's been living out of trash bags for a week. I don't mind. But she does. What? You don't like my trash bag system? <laughs> Look, it's not really a, a, a system, Van. It, it's more like a big, disgusting mess. Big, disgusting mess? Is that your fancy way of saying you don't like it? Yeah. I can't believe this. What's next? Are you going to tell me you don't like the cheerleaders? Oh, man, this is a nightmare. It's like I don't even know you. How could you possibly think that I would want to wake up every day and see that in my room? I'm sorry. I thought it was our room. Come on, girls. We're out of here. Man. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mom. Now, Cheyenne, it was going to happen sooner or later. You can't live like this. Oh, and, and screaming at each other is so much better? Just because you're married, you shouldn't be afraid to say what's on your mind. I don't know why you weren't honest with him in the first place. Well, maybe because I didn't want to drive him away like you drove away Dad. Whoa, whoa, get back here. Look, Mom, I'm sorry, okay? Just, just forget about it. No, I'm not just going to forget about it. Do you actually think I'm the reason your father left? Well, isn't it obvious? You pretty much control everything that happens around here. I'd rather not take credit for this. <laughs> you know what? If something isn't exactly the way that you think it should be, you just have to say something. Why can't you just leave things alone? I mean, do you, do you really think Dad would care what kind of comforter's on the bed? No. It's obvious your father's not picky about what's on his bed. <laughs> You're late. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got here as soon as I could. Is the rest of the family coming in for therapy? No, I figured it's easier to fix them when they're not here getting in the way. <laughs> so, what's the big emergency? Where do I start? My seven-year-old son spent yesterday at the gynecologist. My daughter blames me for everything wrong in her life. And nobody bothers to put milk on the list. Why don't we start with the thing that is bothering you the most? The milk. Uh-huh. You know, Reba, sometimes when life becomes chaotic, we tend to focus on controlling the smaller issues to avoid the bigger issues. You know, this isn't the first time I've been accused of this controlling thing. And frankly, I'd like to put a stop to it. I see. I mean, I was the one that stuck by her. He wasn't even going to come to her wedding, which I planned myself. And don't get me started on that exorcist in her bedroom. No matter what I do, I get the blame. I should just let them fend for themselves for a change. They'd fall flat on their face in five minutes. Or they learn to take care of themselves. Fat chance. Well, you never know until you give it a shot. So what do I do? Nothing. 
Say again? Look, I know it's a scary concept, but try it. You're losing me. Take some time for yourself. Get a massage. Go to a movie. T- t- take up a hobby. Can you just write me a prescription instead? So what did Mom say exactly? She said, feed your brother and sister. I'm going to the movies. She's lost it. <laughs> what are we going to eat? No. There's like nothing in here. What's going on? So you're talking to me now? Only because I'm hungry. Well, we're in a crisis, so go away. What's the crisis? Mom bolted, so we have to make dinner for ourselves. No way. What are we going to eat? You eat the most. Why don't you make something? I can make chili. You got a can of chili? We're all going to die. <gasps> do I have to do everything myself? Daddy? Pizza man. Yay! Oh, thank you, Daddy. I was this close to rolling Jake in a tortilla. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Mmm, onions. If you have any interest in kissing me tonight, you will not eat those. Mmm. Onions. <laughs> so what's up with you two? We're having our first married fight. It's awful. Oh, honey, it's bound to happen sooner or later. Yeah, that's what Mom said. Well, she should know. <laughs> we had a thousand of those little fights. And then, of course, the one big one. Well, the whole thing's her fault anyway. I mean, I... I do not know how you live with her. She is such a control freak. Oh, tell me about it. I got lists up the wazoo. Yeah, she's constantly interfering, telling people what to do. Or what not to do. You know, it's no wonder she drove you away, Dad. Say, listen, uh, could you guys take your pizza and eat it in the living room? Mom doesn't let us eat in the living room. Well, she's not here. (laughs) No, 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 wait a second. If that's the rule, then... Use napkins. <laughs> and give yourself a time out after you finished. <laughs> Cheyenne, honey, you got it all wrong. Your mama didn't drive me away. Dad, it's me. You don't have to defend her. Sweetheart, I'm not the easiest guy to get along with. You know, the fact that your mama stayed with me as long as she did shows just how amazing she really is. Why, well, I can't believe you said that. Look. I know she can be tough sometimes, but I've always admired the way she speaks her mind. Then what happened with you guys? Well, we had some little problems. And little problems become big problems when you don't communicate, and that's not exactly my strong point. Yeah, that's what Mom said. Oh, yeah, like she's perfect. Did you get home? A little while ago. It's nice out here. So how is the movie? Good. Did you know the last time I went to see a movie was before Jake was born? They're a lot louder now. (laughs) So how'd you guys make out tonight? Okay. Dad brought pizza. We also talked. That's nice. Mom, he made me realize that I was wrong about a lot of things. I am so sorry about the horrible thing that I said to you. You have every right to kill me if you want to. Wow. There really is something to this doing nothing. What does that mean? Well, I had a little talk with someone today myself. Of course, my talk cost me 80 bucks. What'd you learn? That you and Van are married now. And that I have to let you make your own mistakes. That's how you're gonna learn. So no more interfering. Sometimes 
the best thing I can do for the two of you is nothing at all. I love you, Mom. But you're still gonna do laundry, right? <laughs> When you want to look at it, just open the door, and the rest of the time, keep it shut. That's gonna work great. We have an awesome marriage. I know. But remember, this honesty thing works both ways. So if there's ever anything that I do that bothers you, you can tell me, okay? Okay. Well, I, I kind of wasn't gonna say anything, but I kind of wish you wouldn't put that potpourri stuff in my underwear. <laughs> I went through a whole practice with an acorn in my jock strap. <laughs> Do that. Well, then who did? <laughs> I've been under a lot of stress. 